everyone. We're here with my friend, Christy Chin. I'm so excited to have you on today. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. I'm super excited to be here. We have quite a few people interested in your story because we have a mix of business owners in the group. We have virtual assistants and we have quite a few people who are a starting their own business, but also people who love essential oil. So you bring the entire package together <laughs> and you come from a background of being a nurse. So let's jump in and you talk about how you got started in this online world. Yeah, gosh, you want the long version? Oh my gosh, I didn't even say your name, did I? <laughs> I don't know, but like anything goes here. Right, I can hey. introduce myself. No, go ahead. Hey, this is Chrissy Chin. <laughs> I think, I, 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 okay, anyway, that was a great start, Emily. Go ahead. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm Chrissy Chin. Um, yeah, so I went to school to be a nurse. I, you know, was looking for something with stability, something that I could do. And I had my limiting beliefs before going to nursing school that like, am I smart enough to do this? Like, can I do this? And I literally reached out to people that I knew were in that were a nurse or in the program. And I was like, but do you think I could do it? And they're like, yeah. I was like, okay. I made it through nursing and um, I was married, got divorced like right after graduating from a very controlling marriage and um, just realized like I wanted more freedom and I, I was low man on the totem pole. So anyone in the healthcare industry knows like you're not getting approved vacations that you want. You're working all of the holidays. Everyone else wants off, you know, nights, weekends. And I was, I just felt a little bit trapped mm -hmm. and the money was great for just being a new grad. But then after looking at it, I was like, wait a minute, like I'm getting 25 cent raise every year. Like this doesn't like, okay, how many years is it going to take to make, you know, a lot more money? And I was like, this just doesn't seem right. I'm, you know, I'm gonna have to go back to school. I don't want to do that more debt. And so I just started exploring other options, like things that I could do to make more money, things that would have me working on the day shift, like during the week when everyone else worked oh. and fell into um, training to be to be in muscle, a muscle tester, which was this just this technique, I won't go into it, that I had used for my health, loved it, found relief with it. And I was like, I'm going to do that. Like, I love health, wellness. I really want to help people feel better in their lives. So I'm going to do this. And when I heard you could build a million dollar practice, I was like, I'm it. Had me on a million dollars, right? So I do the training, dabble in it, and I'm like, this just doesn't seem like it's gonna be for me. Met my now husband at the time, and he was kind enough to like be my patient or whatever. I think he just wanted to come over and hang out with me. <laughs> uh, totally. But I was, we had talked about moving, and I was like, okay, so I could build this million dollar practice. So that would that would solve my financial goals, but then my freedom goals. What if we wanted to move and I built up this practice where I was seeing patients? Well, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to rebuild another practice. Yeah. And that just seemed exhausting to me. So I was like, okay, this is not my thing. And so I got out of that, you know, wasted. Didn't, I never say wasted because I learned, learned lots of great things, but um, that was a year of my life. <laughs> and then I fell into network marketing. Uh, my sister started doing it. She was using the products, loved it. She decided she wanted to stay home with her kids, wanted to do the business. And I said, sis, that's great. I will support you. I'll get my little kit and use these, you know, oils, but I'm not going to do the business. And she <laughs> I didn't know that part of the story. I had no idea. Oh yeah. I was like, I am not going to do the business. And then I actually followed up with, but I have some great ideas for you to build your business. <laughs> No lie. No lie. She's like, oh, you know. So so then I use the products. I fall in love with them. And I shared with my friend and she was like, oh, I want some. And I was like, okay, like here's my link and just sign up and, and order it. And she got it. And then I got a paycheck in the mail. And I was like, what? Like, <laughs> this is how that business works? And I was like, oh. And so I was like, okay, like I'm kind of curious about this. Yeah. Saw the income disclosure. And I was like, wait, what? Like I just went to lunch with her and told her about that and got a paycheck. Like I could put in a bunch of hard work and make that kind of money every month. Like that is crazy. Like what I would make as a nurse in a year at like, um, you know, yeah. at a really good rank, but you know, whatever. And so I was like, I'm in, I'm, I hit the ground running. I was like, I'm doing this. 
And my goal was to replace my income as a nurse before we moved to Atlanta, where we are now okay. from Chicago. And so that I wouldn't have to find another nursing job. I was like, I don't want to find, I don't want to apply. I don't want to like interview. I just don't want to do any of that. Because get my license in Atlanta. Like I just wanted to avoid all that. So that was my drive, driving force it was like. I know a couple of nurses in the same place where they're like moving, especially when they're related to military. And they're like, I do not want to start over. What, Cause you've yeah. certified and do all of that. Like this makes so much sense. So what, what year are we talking about right now? Like when is it? And you're I have no idea. No, uh, <laughs> five years ago. How many? Five years ago, okay. I think. Or 2014. 2014. However many, six years ago. Oh my gosh, six kind years. Of early on in the oil, you know, world yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, but I, you know, I just did like things on Facebook and, you know, people that knew me were like, I'm in, I would, you know, go to do classes, like two classes in a day. I would drive out to the suburbs of Chicago and do a class. And then I drive into the city and do another class. So I was like, I had drive, like I wanted to get out of my profession. Like this is why people always say like, what's your why? Like, I just wanted out of what I was doing. <laughs> and like, I was willing to do what it took to yeah to be into something else, right? Um, anyway, so moved to Atlanta, didn't have to find another nursing job and just continued to build, build my business with that. And in the process, I'm someone who likes to, I don't wanna say not work because I'm a really hard worker when it comes to like what I love doing. Like I will work all day long on my businesses now, but I like freedom. I like to be able to go, we have got a boat. Like I love to be able to go with the family on the boat and check out. I love to be able to go on vacations when traveling is like a thing yes. again, <laughs> right? To be able to do that stuff. And um, so I so I was finding myself spending a lot of time with new builders, you know, in the network marketing world, explaining the same things over and over and over again. And I was like, oh, I feel like I'm just spending the time doing doing this over and over. So I was like, let me create a business training so that I can direct them to that when they ask me this question that literally 10 other people ask me, I can send them to that training, say, hey, watch this or read this and then come ask what, then I'll answer any questions that you have. And they would 99% of the time would say, 99% of my questions were answered, but now I actually have this other question that's really specific to a situation. And I would be like, perfect. We like, I eliminated having to do all the basic training and then got into the nitty gritty with them and it was, Amazing. So I used that to build my team. And then I added product education into the platform that I was using. And uh, other people heard about it when I not heard about it. I told them about it. When I went to when I got a retreat, I went to a retreat and you know, everyone's talking about how do you train your team and how do you educate? And I was telling them they're like, Oh, my gosh, I we want that. We want to use that. And I was like, Okay, I don't really know if that's a, a thing like if that's allowed. And so did a little bit of research and was like, okay, I think we can do this thing. I would, you know, I had to unbrand it, rebrand it. I brought my youngest sister on board because I was the ideas. I had the knowledge, but the tech stuff, like I didn't want to mess with that. Yeah. She had a design background. She could do graphic design. And, and so I was like, you have to take what's in my head and what I've typed out and make it really pretty and functional so that people can join. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we teamed up that way and, and launched what is now Grow Workspace in November of 2017. Um, and I had this Facebook group that I had created and, and kind of did like a summit style training in there that I just wanted to have, again, solving my own problem. Gosh, I wish this resource existed. Hey, why don't I create it? Um, got people together. They did, they did talks in there and there was 40,000 people in that group that I had control over. Okay, stop, because so, I know you're moving on. Okay, stop. <laughs> People are asking you, oh, no, I'm, I, I, hold on, I need to put a Barbie clothes on, but, okay. No. So, you, you, people are coming into your group and they're wanting more information for their businesses, right? So explain a little bit more about your Facebook group strategy there, because that's, I feel like, is really important. Okay, so it's actually a little bit different than what you, what you think. Okay. So, I, so I was in, in the oils, uh, network marketing. So when I signed up a massage therapist, I'm not a massage therapist, but I have 
all these ideas on how they could build their business, right? As a massage therapist, same with teachers, same with chiropractors, nurses. Now I could speak to nurses and they would trust me because they're like, you're a nurse, you know. Yeah. But if I was talking to a chiropractor, I'm like, they trust other chiropractors that have done this before them more than they're going to trust me, even though I might tell them the same thing. Does that make sense? Totally. Okay. So I said, I want to create this resource where there's all these different professionals speaking to how they use oils personally, how they use them with patients, if applicable, and how they have built their network marketing business alongside their profession as a chiropractor, massage therapist, teacher, whatever. And so I just reached out cold messaged people that I knew were either high up in the company that I was in that were known for like there was this guy, Jim Bob Haggerton, Dr. Jim Bob Haggerton, he was a chiropractor, well known in the young living industry. And so I just said, hey, like, would you want to do a talk to chiropractors? This will be a free resource for everyone in the company. Um, and, and you can promote it to your team and, you know, you'll contribute to it. And he's like, yeah. And since he was a big name, this was my strategy. I leveraged his name to get everyone else to say yes. Yes. I said, Dr. Jim Bob Haggerton is in I would love to have you participate. Will you speak to physical therapists? Will you speak to teachers? And everyone else said yes. There, might, there was a couple that that fell out, but but everyone said yes. So that was my strategy. And everyone shared it with their communities. This is where I saw the power of collaboration and networking, networking and collaboration. And when people share something to their networks, how quickly something can grow. Okay, this was my first experience with that. And the group grew to 40,000 in a matter of weeks by everyone sharing so cool. about this event that was going to happen over a week, week time. And so it was not just business people, which is what Grow Workspace caters to, which didn't even exist then. Right. It was just users, oil users. And so when Grow Workspace became this business, I said, well, I have control over this group. And I should definitely leverage it, but we've got two different people in here. We've got yeah. business builders and we've got product users. And I don't want to market all this business stuff to this group all the time. The product users are going to get annoyed. They're going to want to leave and we don't want that. Yeah. Right. So I said, I need to pull out the people who really want to learn about business grab their emails. Cause at this time it was not a thing to ask questions before someone joins your Facebook group. So there was no, like, give me your email. Yeah. You know, at that time it was like, I have no email addresses whatsoever. And so I was like, let's just create a freebie that's really focused on our ideal client, exactly who we're looking for and pull them out and do something else. So we created a freebie 90 days of IPA income producing activities checklist. And that was how we got their email. And we said, download this checklist and come on over to this Facebook group where we're going to do a 90 day challenge. And every day we're going to give you an income producing activity for you to grow your business. Wow. And people just flooded over there, downloaded the checklist. So I got their emails. They came into the Facebook group. I had their attention and it was designed. So we were launching Grow Workspace at the same time. It was designed to give them a little bit in that day on training, hey, do this. If you want more training, come over to Grow Workspace and you'll get a, a full training yeah. on this topic. So every day it really pushed people over like, this is great, it gives them those quick wins. Quick wins are amazing for people, but for the people that want more, you send them over to buy the thing, right? Yeah, so they were paying in and buying into your brand new membership, basically. Yes. So they joined the free thing and then they would jump right into the paid membership at the same time because they wanted that extra training. And we wanted subscription based service. So again, this is my net my my desire for for financial freedom and more time freedom. Um, my knowledge of how network marketing works and residual income works. I was like, I don't want people to pay a one time thing and be done and I just have to keep getting new clients. Yes. I want to keep making money from the same client. So we were like we have to do something where they can or so we can do subscription based but it's going to keep them around. And so we thought the business training this is so like 
you may think one thing for your business, like this is going to be my bread and butter. And then you launch it and you're like, oh my gosh, that's not the thing. <laughs> like this other thing that I like the sleeper, like that's the bread and butter. So we thought, oh, people are going to want this business training, but we added on uh, marketing materials. So we said, we're going to create two new classes every month to give you so you can take that material and go teach other people about these products. And we'll create two new every single month. So that's where the membership started, right? So you'd want to stay on to get your new resources every month. And that is our bread and butter. So they signed on, you You signed them on originally thinking they were going to want the like how to back end business stuff, like how to train their team and get their network going. But what they really wanted was the cl class every month, how to use oils. Right? Can you give me a specific example because to paint like what one of those trainings would be? Yeah. So uh, oils for your pets, oils for your kids, yeah. oils for athletes. Um, now we even incorporate like campaign type things. So we've got oily ABCs and we created this fun little interactive thing where you give clues. So every day it's a letter of the alphabet and you give clues for that, that oil that starts with the letter A. Uh -huh. And then the next day you give, and then so it, it encouraged them, it encourages them to go look up um, about different products and learn more. And then we do fun, the people, we encourage people to do fun giveaways in this little campaign thing. And um, then the following day, you give the answer for the day previous. So you're like, yesterday's oil was uh, Australian blue. And then you give the clue for B. And so we'll do fun little campaigns for that or um, oils in the bedroom. I think we actually call it something else. <laughs> oils for romance. We call we try to call it oils in the bedroom and Facebook was like blocking us. <laughs> We're like, you cannot do that. <laughs> like, okay. Um, yeah, so there's so many different topics, but I think that it ended up being our bread and butter because, you know, in network marketing, you're really trying to teach people about the products. So in your business, what are you trying, what are you trying to help? Like, what is your, your ideal client? What are they trying to do most? Mm -hmm. And that was get people interested in the products, right? Like the business training, that was like, if someone was interested. Yeah. And so I think just focusing on the one thing that will help them generate the most business was what they were most interested in. And that, Does that make sense? Yeah, and it was the marketing. It was the fun ways to bring oils to their audience. And you're yeah. handing it over to them in a silver platter with beautiful pictures, how to yeah. use, and everything. So yeah, we had a professional photographer. Claire did the graphic design. Um, you know, I wrote the copies like early on. Now we've got a whole team that does all this stuff um, uh, behind the scenes. But yeah, we were just creating it and giving it to them. We were spending hours and hours and hours doing it. And they could literally set up a class or whatever in 10, 15 minutes. Amazing. So we were saving them a ton of time exactly. and helping them make money. So that's like if your business can save someone time and save them money or make them money, like you're on the right path. Exactly. Like keep doing the thing. That's like everybody in this group. <laughs> this yeah, group. exactly. So tell everyone how many members did you get in your first launch? Like what did that look like? So we, by the end of month one, we had 1,400 paying subscribers. And by the end of month four, we had 4,000. Oh my gosh. So it just started snowballing. Yeah. Well, and, and it's also just so important to know who your audience is. So we knew that our audience for this business was, or our target audience were brand new to network marketing. Yeah. So you don't invest a lot of money in your network marketing business. That's one of the reasons people joins. So someone who doesn't have a bunch of money to invest. So a low, low price point, right, is definitely what's needed. Um, and just a ton of value. There were some people out there sharing some resources, making graphics or little things like it wasn't a brand new concept. But what we did, we just I, I mean, I would say we did it better than everyone else, but we just added tons of value. Instead of going to this place for graphics and this pl place for a little class, like we just gave you everything at a third of the price yeah, yeah. of other people. So who's in the classes? Are you doing it? 
So I was creating the classes in the beginning. Now we have a content creator. We have like a whole team. Claire was, uh, we had a, we did hire a professional photographer from the beginning. So she was taking the pictures. I would send her the product, she'd take the pictures. And then Claire would make the webinar slides or the shareable graphics, because yeah. um, that was her skill and talent. Now we've hired graphic designer, we have content creators, we have you know kind of someone who project manages everything. We do translation now, so we've got Spanish content, so we have to send stuff to translation. Wow. We've and, and the business has just grown. So as things change, that's also another thing to think about. Like, are you innovating as things change in the industry of whatever you're doing? So Facebook classes then started to not really be the thing. Right. It's like people can't get people to attend their Facebook classes and yeah. texting became the thing. Yeah. And so it was like, OK, we like there are still people who want to do this social media Facebook thing. Yeah. But yeah. now people are getting into texting. So you have to make sure that you're keeping up you know, with the times on your business and evolving with what your clients want. They may have wanted that one thing back then, but now they want this. So are you listening? Are you paying attention? Are you asking questions? to be able to know what they want, to be able to give it to them. And so now we offer the content in a ton of different okay. platforms. We Facebook, you know, we still do the Facebook. Um, this is the thing, there's always like one person that's like, oh, I still wanna use it that way. So we just keep doing it and we just keep adding on. We're like, yeah. fine, we'll just keep doing it for you then. <laughs> um, so Facebook classes, then people wanted Instagram stories, you know, that started becoming a thing. So we create Instagram graphics texting campaign so we have two platforms uh, that a lot of people in the, the specific company use and so we actually create campaigns for both of those platforms okay. and literally it's a share link so once they have access to it they just take that link copy and paste it into that platform and boom it uploads everything oh that's so awesome. literally in seconds it will upload an entire text campaign and they can still edit it and do whatever they want with it um, but just saves them a ton of time that way. Yeah. Um, so we offer that webinar graphics, scripts, home scripts, webinar scripts. I mean, the whole we offer like printable downloads. We're like, oh, let's make printables for that because home classes was a big thing back yeah. then. So it's like, yeah, printable to consent. And now people will print them off and, and mail them. Now we've got little mailers that we create that people can, oh, you know, send cool. a Vista print and print off. So it's just, you know, if I think about the business now, I'm like, oh my gosh, so much work, so much, you know, like I could never just create all of this overnight, but you have to remember like your business grows over time. So if you just keep working in and on your business, keep listening to the people and creating what they want, it's going to keep growing and turning into something beautiful. And before you'll know it, yeah. you'll have a whole team of people helping you out. And you'll be like, how did we even get here? <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> You've been so good about listening to your people from day one, which is how you got the solutions to build a business that people wanted. I've worked on the back end with clients who I knew those products were going to fail because they weren't paying attention. You know, they, they weren't they were just going off with what seemed, you know, sexy at the time in the business world and not actually what people were asking them for. So I love that you solved your own problem, made your work life easier. <laughs> got the yeah. freedom you wanted and made a ton of money. So tell everyone how, how long it took you to make a million dollars. Uh, well, that whole like five year overnight success, right? <laughs> 20, it took us 20 months from when we launched. That's crazy. Um, to do a million dollars. And then because of subscription platform, yeah. reoccurring payments, we'll hit 2 million, I think this month. That's so awesome. we'll do two million. So we hit, so that's not almost just a little bit over a year later. So we hit a million July of last year. Okay. Um, was that July of last year? Two years ago. Oh gosh. Now I can't remember. No, that's We're going to have to do the math. From when we started 20 months later, <laughs> hit a million dollars yeah. and then we'll hit 2 million um, this month. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Okay. I want to talk about your team a little bit because yeah. You, well, first, were there a lot of subscription based businesses for you to copy, like kind of like no in the back of your head, or were you just kind of going off and doing your own thing? Were you aware that this was a, a successful business model that Stu McLaren makes millions off of teaching? <laughs> no, um, it was not. I mean, it's not like it was anything foreign. I mean, people were yeah. certainly doing it. Yeah. It was definitely 
a little bit newer. Yeah. Um, like I remember when I joined Pandora, that music <laughs> yeah. thing, and it was like $4.99 a year, you know, back then. And then, and now every, like everything's monthly and app apps are monthly. So like, it wasn't a time when like all apps were monthly right. payments. It was just like, I knew from network marketing, if I want residual income in my network marketing business, I need to help my members sign up for the monthly automation yeah. purchasing right. and have them purchasing yeah. every month. So that just made sense. Like, okay, how do I take that model and put it into my business? Okay. Yeah. I just have to create new content every month that they're going to want. Um, and, and we certainly priced it. Well, we launched it. This is where like some people think they have to have the, you know, a product that's worth hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars to make any money. Here's the thing. You can do a low price point and go for a lot of people, or you can go for a, a, a little amount of people at a high price point and you can reach the same million dollar mark, right? So we launched our subscription model. Do you know? Do you have I, can't I, tried remember. It? I can't remember? Four dollars and ninety-five cents a month. <laughs> <laughs> so cheap. Again, this is why we had 1400 members by the end of month one. Yeah. Because it was like, you guys, an expensive Starbucks coffee, you can membership price. Yeah. You know what I mean? To like build your business. So it was a no brainer. And so, and also just the, the clients that we had that they work off of referrals. That's how they build their business. These are the types of people we're serving. And I knew that again, like knowing your audience so well, what do they do? What do they talk about? Do they talk Do they talk to other people? Do they share about you? Because if you give them something worth sharing, they will share. Yes. And so it was like, oh my gosh, all this content for $4.95, everyone was talking about us. We didn't do ads for over a year. It was awesome. like our first year and a half. Wow. Um, because we didn't need to. Everyone was talking about us. Then we we did. So then we were like, oh, everyone's jumping in at four ninety five. Okay, let's raise the price. Yeah. So two weeks. So then we made it like a two week, you know, founding partners thing. So then after two weeks, we raised it to six dollars and ninety five cents. Again, we still wanted it to be really affordable. Yeah. We're like six dollars and ninety five cents. Let's play with that. It's easier to increase your price than to start high and then be like, crap, nobody's buying. Right. And then you're like, I, I lowered my prices. They're like, okay, clearly no one was buying. So you yeah. had to lower your price. So I'm not buying even at that low price. So start low, test it out, you know, offer a special deal for people getting started. We called them our founding partners. Yeah. Um, and so we did that for four months and we had 4,000 and we were like, okay, let's raise the price again. <laughs> And we raised it to $14.95. And I will say, like, I'll be totally honest that our join rate dropped dramatically. For, at $14. Yeah. And, you know, you and I know is, you know, dirt cheap for something with giving such high value. Yeah, but it did. I mean, I think it was just like that under $10. I mean, I just think six ninety five. dollars yeah. like it was still yeah. so cheap. And there's still, I mean, we still get emails from, from people that are like, you know, I have to cancel because I just, I can't afford it. And like that breaks my heart because I'm just like, oh, like, let me help you build your business. Cause I like, I, you, I want you to be able to afford $14.95, even if it's not on my membership site. Like, I want you to pay for that other one that you want. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah, but it did, but it, I mean, it was fine. We were still getting people, um, you know, it was just, and I don't know if that was 100% the reason, but I think it played a part. Yeah. Um, I think we had also, you know, reached, you know, we had reached a lot of people, you know, and there's not a billion people out there that are our ideal client. So, um, but yeah, we, we continue to sign people up and um, we, you know, leverage Facebook ads now and so subscribe. Tell me how many people are on your team right now? So on our team, we have support, someone who works the support email, um, which that's a great place to to learn about what your people want. Those yeah, emails yeah. where you're like, oh, Becky, <laughs> listen to those people. They're telling yeah. you what to make next. Yeah. Uh, so someone in our support email, we have a content creator, um, kind of project manager, graphic design, someone in Canada who helps us with content. Um, now someone 
who helps out with Spanish, we send to a translation company, but she'll do little projects for us. Um, an ads manager. Okay. And we're hiring one more person. Now I'm bringing it up because there's such a wide variety of people in this group and where they can start and find a place on But it started with you doing the business of the business and your sister, Claire, who was really more of the uh, graphic designer and behind the business like teammate. So a lot of solo producers will hire somebody. We don't all have Claire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was that was my I didn't have a lot of money to invest in a business. I had no idea if it was going to be successful. And Claire, you know, went to school for interior design, then she got into health and wellness and she just wasn't happy with what she was doing and I was like, "Look, if this works, which I think it really could, like I had that vision, I was like, this could get her out of what she's doing that she doesn't love and she can go do whatever she wants. And so it was part of that, like I need support and she would she, she would be perfect yeah. to team up with, but also like I wanted that freedom for her. That's and so, so it just made sense. You know, I could have, you know, said to my husband, like, I really think this is gonna work. Could we invest and hire someone? But I was like, I mean, I didn't pay her. So that's like, there was that, like, yeah. hey, I'm not gonna pay you, but I'm gonna give you the opportunity to like yeah. maybe be a part of something amazing. Oh um, and now, what country is Claire in right now? Traveling, like, is Claire? Well, she is back in the states, but okay. she left because of all the everything going on. Okay. But she left, and she was doing, you know, world tour. She was in Europe and went to Australia and New Zealand, and she had just gotten to Bali when everything happened, and we were like. She was like, I don't know that I want to get stuck here. Uh, so she ended up coming back. But she was out for a good, I think, six months. Yeah. And what a story. I mean, you just wanted to help her get out of a crummy job situation. And, like, you guys built a perfect life. Claire, yeah. You travel. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. We both, you know, sometimes I feel bad because now I'm, I, you know, I get to spend time in my other passion projects now building my personal brand and, and helping other people in, in business outside of just this one network marketing company. Like whether you're a network marketing or you're a coach or you're a creative entrepreneur, like I want to help you build online and scale your business. And so that's kind of my, my passion to expand on that and that journey. And so sometimes I'll feel bad, like, oh my gosh, I'm not working very much in the other business. Like, is Claire working full time? And so I'll be like, I'll text her and be like, okay, so how many hours did you actually work in, in Grow Workspace this week? And she'll be like, maybe like eight. <laughs> and I'll be like, okay, good. Cause I was feeling bad that I was around like five or six. And yeah. I was like, just want to make sure that like, you know, you're not like pulling all the weight and I'm over here like la di da doing my other things. Yeah. Um, but that's exactly what we wanted. Like build this business, you know, and again, if you're someone who's starting out by yourself, just hiring those little things, those little jobs that happen over and over and over again in your business that you don't want to do or that take you out of your zone of genius, hire those out so that you can stay like, in your lane, in your space, and working on the things that you're amazing at. And so while I did bring Claire in, the first person that we hired, besides photographer, kind of all started together. Yeah. The first person that we hired was support, email support. You know, we have a Facebook group that goes with it. So it's that manual process of when someone becomes a member, you have to double check their account and get them added to the Facebook group. And if they cancel, you have to take them out. And I was doing that myself every night. We'd put the kids to bed. I would crawl into bed. I'd pull up in my laptop. We'd turn on a show and I would be approving people. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I do not want to do this anymore. Yeah. And so I was like, we need to hire someone to do this because I know you don't want to do this either. <laughs> and so we hired someone to just do that and like pay attention to the email and, and respond. And, and then after that, we hired, you know, another person and then another person. So like it can happen gradually. It doesn't have to be you know, this whole team at once. And it likely won't be. No. And now you do you use Monday.com to keep the whole team organized? Like what falls and who doesn't work? Uh, some of the team members use it. Okay. I don't use it very well. <laughs> <laughs> this is like me. I'm like, you, you no. stepped out of it. You stepped out a lot of that business. So I like, I mean, I'm, I'm in there, but I've, I've, 
designed it and built it in a way that I don't have to be in there micromanaging monday.com. Yep. Yep. Like we've hired amazing people, hired for personality, hired people that were literally like begging us for a job, <laughs> you know, went into the community that we have to hire um, people that would reach out like we would love to work with, you know, I'd love to work with you guys. Um, so some of the team uses it to keep track of all the things, but I hate having to like update things and yeah. you know, whatever. So I've figured out a way to keep myself out of monday.com while everyone else uses it. Yeah. Like they know if they need me, text me. Yeah. That's you know me, it will get lost in the black hole. <laughs> like if you need something, text me or call me. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So tell everyone, now that you've had the success, you've seen it work, you're, you're good at it. You have started coaching other business owners to scale and get these systems in place so they too can build a business they love and mm -hmm. step away from it and go wakeboarding every once in a while. Uh, yeah. Tell everyone what your personal brand is now. Yeah. So my personal brand is literally everything that you just said. Um, I do have a variety of people who are just getting started or maybe they've been at it for a little while, but they don't really know about branding. They don't really know about marketing. They don't really know much about, you know, leveraging social media and a website. Um, you know, my community a lot is network marketers. So people aren't, aren't, they're not thinking about building a personal brand. Whereas those are the people that are really reaching those top ranks and reaching success. You know, same with, you know, whatever business personal brand you're building, like it's about you and building that and, and discovering your brand, which is not just how it looks, but it's how it feels. It's what you say, it's all of the pieces. And so taking, um, you know, everything that I've learned over the last six years and, and the last few years of building this brand grow workspace, which is not a personal brand, it's just a brand. Yeah. Um, and then building my personal brand here, it's like being able to help people figure out what is your message? Let's get clarity on that. Who is your ideal client? What are their problems? What is the solution that you have to give them that's going to solve their problems? Okay, now you need to use the transformation you're going to give to sell whatever it is you're selling. Because people don't want your product and they don't want your course. They don't want your training. They don't want they don't want that. No. They want the transformation that you're going to give them. They want the freedom. They want the financial freedom. They want the time freedom. They want the confidence. So like what is your product or your service transforming their life into? And that's what you sell. So teaching people about that, helping them get clarity on that yeah. um, is what I love. Um, and then, you know, I love trying to automate what I can. And so automation through literally through automated things where you set it up and forget it or building that team to support you so that you are literally spending the time and energy in your business exactly how much and where you want to be and still have it be thriving. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I've got a course that kind of takes all of that into one and, and teaches through a course. Uh, and then for people that want private coaching, I do private coaching and have some amazing clients um, doing that. One of the guys that I'm coaching just signed a 10K client Ooh. for himself. And so I was like, yes, that's amazing. I love it. I love it. And he's just gotten so much clarity on his ideal client. We've been working on that. And, you know, I'm asking the tough questions to him and he's, you know, come up with it. And he goes, Chrissy, you know what? He goes, when he filled out the application to do coaching, he was literally typing in what I've put down for my ideal client, like what he's looking for and the transformation that he wants. He's like, that's literally what we came up with for my ideal client. Oh. And I was like, see, it works. The process works. It does. You know, you're putting out there. It, it, you have to be intentional. So you're bringing in the right person, right? So every application you get is someone who's going to jump in. The exact right person. So how did that feel go like switching businesses and adding something else to your plate? I mean, that's got to be scary. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> um, I don't know if it was very scary. It's exciting. I'm definitely okay. one of those people. Like when I was a nurse, I switched jobs every year. I'm like, all right, looking for something new, like something exciting. Um, I've definitely stayed in my entrepreneurial role so much longer than that. Yeah. Um, but it was really 
it's just an expansion of what I realized I was passionate with in building that brand, you know, so I was helping people in this very specific network marketing company build their businesses. And now I'm just helping a broader scale of people build their businesses. Yes. You know, so it's kind of, it's the same thing, but it's this exciting avenue that I just get to open myself up even more and make more of an impact, yeah. um, you know, across the board. So it's exciting to me and it doesn't feel like I made a complete shift. It's no. just like, all right, like I've got this, these plates spinning over here. Like, let's throw up another plate. Let's do it. So I remember meeting you at the Kajabi conference. We would close out the bar every night. <laughs> we had a great time. And, um, and then, you know, nothing embarrassing. It was all fun. And, you know, a couple other people would join us and we went to dinner. And I remember you talking about this and wanting to do more with what you've learned and impacting more because this is, it was very clear that this is what you were good at. And I remember everyone at the dinner table saying like, you got to go for it. Like, don't look yeah. at what other people are doing. You know your shit. Like, just go for it. And so now you've launched your first course. Now you have a podcast. It's crazy. I mean, this is in what, like, this is a little bit over a year that this happened. Yeah. And now you're having, tell everyone about this virtual summit that you're doing. So I'm super, super excited about this. So it's called the Standout Virtual Summit. Uh, registration is open. So I, it starts on August 24th. And so this is a summit for people who are in a crowded space, right? Network marketers, you got thousands upon thousands of people selling the same product that you are, right? Coaches, health coaches, business coaches. I mean, who? everyone and their mother out there is a health coach or a business coach, right? Creative entrepreneurs, bloggers, you know, so taking, it's for those kinds of people that have a really you know, feel like their market is saturated or they've got a lot of competition. Uh, and hello, really, virtual assistant world. <laughs> yeah. Hello, virtual, virtual assistant. And that, I mean, <laughs> such an amazing thing to be a virtual assistant right now, to be able to either bring in extra income or if you don't have your job right now, like that's been really tough. And so people have definitely been, been learning that, that trade and that skill. And like us business owners cannot survive without virtual assistants, I just must say. Yeah. Virtual assistant, but now everyone in their freaking mother is trying to be a virtual assistant. Oh my gosh. So how do you stand out and make sure that people see you and not only see you, but people pick you? And the right people, you don't want- And the right people, exactly, exactly, the right people. And that's so key. Like what I said, like my client, yeah. bringing in the exact right person, like that is key. We don't want you working with anyone you don't wanna work with. Yeah. And we want you to have a list full of people that, that wanna work with you that you wanna work with. Like so many that you have to turn them away. Waiting list, yes. Yeah, that is my goal for you. So I was like, we need to put together a summit. And you know, I could blab all day long about these things, but let's bring in, some really amazing standout people, multiple six, seven figure earners. Um, lot, we have some different categories. So business coaches, um, health coaches, network marketers, you know, top leaders in their industry that are coming together to give their, their advice. Um, and so it's interview style. I'm co-hosting. I brought one of my amazing friends, Dustin Bland, on board. I was like, dude, you got to do this with me. It's going to be epic. And so, you know, he grabbed his people. I grabbed my people. And we were like, let's just put on this amazing virtual event. So no masks are required. That's good. It'll give your face a little breather <laughs> from all the things. And uh, you can just tune in and listen to all these amazing people and get these solid, solid nuggets that you can implement into your business right away. Because I know it can be frustrating when you're like, well, I'm doing all the things that people are teaching me and I just feel like it's not working for me. Yeah. Um, and I know that these, you know, we've done, we've done these interviews. So I know what's in there, the golden nuggets um, that are in there and, and they're sharing with you. And then the speakers are offering, offering freebies during the summit. Um, so that's, you know, a reason to come show up, grab their freebies. That's amazing. And then we have an amazing summit surprise, which maybe I won't, I won't tell anyone about. I don't they'll, think you need to say that yet. Yeah, they'll, ha they'll have to tune in and, and figure it out. So, but registration is open and I know you're going to share the link. Yes. Uh, with people. I, yeah. I was trying to get an affiliate link for her, but there's a link in the event and then I'll share one soon, but you can tell everyone, the, go ahead and tell everyone the website right now if they want to sign up while they're watching. Yeah. So the website is just standoutvirtualsummit.com. 
So you can go there, you can register. Um, there is affiliate. So you just mentioned affiliates. There's affiliate opportunities um, with it. So that I always just, I just want to help people make money and like live their best life. So if I can help people do that in the summit too, like I'm game. Yeah. I'm in. I've always liked that you were very honest about wanting to make money because I, I too, I do too. I want to provide for my family. I have a long list. I have four kids. I need to get them through college. Mama needs a new yeah. man. I love how honest you are about it and it's not a bad thing. But I have to say, I remember being at Kajabi and you having that pin and thinking like, oh my God, I don't know if I can talk to her. She's like, she's up there. She's like been doing her business. And I just love that you're so real, you're approachable and you genuinely want to help people make money. And it, it's yeah. not like this competitive thing with you. You're really out there to, from like a heart of gold. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, there's billions of people out there. And if you just reach out, like you can grab, there's enough money to go around. Yeah. Like, so if you're not grabbing it, someone else is. And if you really want to live the life that you dream about, you need money. Yeah. Like, let's just be honest. Like you do. And if you want to just live in a shack or tra travel in an RV and donate all your money to charity, like you can do that. Yeah. Like you have, like, it's your choice, but like, it's there for the taking. You have to work hard and yeah. do some scary things and step outside your comfort zone to do it. But like, it's there for you. I believe in you that you can 100% if you put in the work, do it. Yeah. Oh, thank you for that. So, okay. I know I'm keeping you like the full hour here, but no, I'm totally fine. I'm, I'm loving this. <laughs> we were looking at your top podcast and one of the top most downloaded one was the one about you talking about not being, um, just getting started and getting unstuck. Can you mm -hmm. share with everyone here in this group a little tidbit about that? Because I feel like it's, I mean, it happened to me. I mean, you witnessed my original story, but it happens to all of us. Like, why do we get stuck and how can we get unstuck? Okay. First of all, I have no idea what I said in the podcast because that was so long ago. So yeah. you're going to have to go listen to yeah. it. Yeah. Badass is the new black podcast. How to get, yeah, I was like, how to get unstuck or get I'll share the link to that one because I, okay. I really feel like this mindset stuff is so important right now, especially as the field gets competitive and whatnot. But yeah, but my my thoughts on that right now is is a if you're feeling stuck and want to get unstuck or you want to get started, a come to the summit, <laughs> be inspired to do that. But um, and and my interview with Ashley Gordon, especially listen to that one. I, I think it's on day one um, because she talks about the the highs and the lows, and the lows are just as much a part of your journey as the highs are. Yeah. And you have to have those lows in order to learn and come through. So being stuck is, I think I talk about this with a couple of people. You're just going to have to watch all the videos. Yeah. <laughs> so just being stuck is like a part of the process. And you have to take it in, feel the emotions, learn from what's going on to be able to move forward. But then that's my my little thing of like, you can't stay down here forever. At some point, you have to make the conscious decision that no matter what, I'm going to, to push through. Jeff Lerner also talked about, about this. Like, you have to make the conscious decision that you're going to put in the work and move out of it. Yeah. I think so I wish that it was just some magical, like, yeah, you just turn around five times and tap your head <laughs> and, like, you're good to go. Like, no, you have to process, which is so hard for me, like, emotion. I'm like, ugh. Yeah. But I've been working on that. So processing the emotions, feeling, learning from the situation and being like, okay, now it's now I have to make the decision and figure out which foot I'm putting forward next and in what direction. And I just have to to go for it. Yeah. And you have to keep that end goal in mind. Like you're not going to get through that transformation without moving forward. And it, it's hard. It's vulnerable. I mean, both of us have started businesses not really knowing where it would take us, but you just you know, you just have faith in yourself and you move forward and you'd be willing to take like the lows with mm -hmm. that. So that's so yeah. good. Okay. Yeah. So Chrissy's podcast is called Badass is the New Black. You can find it on Apple Podcasts. I love that your shows are not an hour long, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Only if I have really good interviews, then yeah. they might. Because when you get talking with people that are amazing, you just keep <laughs> I know, like, 
like, man, we've been talking about, yes, I, mine are like that on my new podcast too. Like my interviews are an hour and then my little spiels are like 10 minutes. That's same. Okay. So interviews might be a little long, but they're so always so good. Yeah. And then the, then when I'm doing it myself, it's, you know, 10 to maybe 18 yeah. minutes, maybe you'll get a 25 minute or in there, but yeah. like, listen to it on one and a half X and you're like, bada bing, bada boom, you're done. You've got some golden nuggets. You can put them into action. And, and, yeah. I guess I love that. And then the standout summit, you can register today. It is free. It starts August 24th. Can you tease a speaker or two who maybe the digital media virtual assistant might be really interested in? Can you think of anything off the top of your head? I know I'm putting you on the spot here. Mm. So many of our people are afraid to put themselves out there. They know they need to do the work. They've learned the things and then actually doing it. But that fear of standing out, I mean, it's real. We feel yeah. like, yeah. Okay, so you're definitely going to want to tune into me interviewing Dustin Bland, who is the okay. other co-host because okay. he is a genius on putting himself out there online and selling on social. And he doesn't even really post on his feed. Like, I think it was months ago he posted. He just is in his stories like all the time, oh, which is amazing because if you're like, oh my gosh, what am I going to post? It's like, he doesn't even post. Like he's just in his stories. That's that's <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. So you're going to get some really great nuggets. From okay. Me. Um, who else? What else? They're all just so good. And now there's like so many, oh, um, cop people would want to learn about copy, right? Yeah. Ooh, okay, so I, Lauren Vanessa Zink is perfect. an amazing copywriter, uh, the wealthy wordress. So she's got an amazing interview, amazing freebie, and some other stuff you're gonna want to check out. Okay, um, in in there, but she's teaching you how to um, sell with your words. And she, okay, you guys, I've been I've been studying marketing and all of this and learning about copy for years, and she shared a tip with me that I was like. Oh my gosh, mind blown, so simple, but I can see exactly how that works and I'm not doing it now and I'm gonna definitely do it in the future. So something that I, even I haven't been using and taking advantage of that I'm like 100% that's going, like I'm using that, that skill, that tip in writing copy. Because when she said it, she like literally sold me. I was like, oh my gosh, I just like, full body experience. And that was so powerful. I think we just got our soundbite here for Instagram stories. To <laughs> right up for your <laughs> it was so good. It's so good. They're all really, really good though. And they're, they're different. They're different people. So that's just why I encourage you to, even if you, like, if you don't know anyone, just listen to them to see the, the variety um, because they're all sharing really good things. And, and even if you're not in network marketing, listening, listen to the network marketer because there's golden nuggets in there that you can bring into your business. Yeah. And so many of us on the flip side who are behind the scenes helping these front stage entrepreneurs, this is training that we take and we apply to many clients. So I even if like I've had work marketers approach me too to work with them. So no. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like taking the nuggets, knowing, you know, what your leaders are looking for, what what they need to stand out. Like, how valuable are you if you're like, I know all of these things and can do all these things to help you stand out? Yeah. And so many times clients come to me and I am not just their VA. I'm not just their, you know, tech integrator. I am like their therapist and their coach and I'm <laughs> making decisions and content decisions and sales funnels, you know, consulting and all of that comes together where you need that in your toolkit. <laughs> so yeah. you can tell them what to do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just tell them what to do, just how it is. So, well, thank you so much for joining us today. I had so fun chatting with you. I'll put the link here after we're done. If anyone has questions for Christy, uh, you, she's here in the group. Ask some, um, leave a comment for her, tag her, and she can follow up with you. And yeah, and find you on Instagram. Instagram is where you're very active. So yes. Nice. Yes, I would say I'm more active on Instagram now. Yeah. Yeah, tell can you tell everyone what your freebie freebie is too? Because I'll plug that into the show notes as well. The, the for scaling. For well, I have a couple. Did you have one in mind? Um, I was thinking the one for scaling your business, the five. Oh yes. Um, Do you have a better idea? No, that one's great. It's the the five. Uh, I don't even remember what I called it now. The five. You're putting me on the spot. The five tips to building an email list that converts. I think that's basically what it is. But 
good That's golden good. nuggets in there really to help with scaling. Yeah, you have a couple. And hey, good news. You're, the website's working for me again. <laughs> Yay! I was thinking of, um, well, shoot, now I'm putting myself on the spot. Okay. Yeah, so we'll uh, yeah. have a couple. I'll put those over here in the links, and I will get you everyone at the summit. I totally lost you. Okay, there you are. <laughs> I'm here. Blonde moment. Okay. Well, thanks, Christy, so much. Find her on Instagram, the Christy Chin, and you, you know, your own. All right. I'll see you guys all at the summit. Oh, yes. I will be there. Don't worry. All right. I'll be there. All right. I'll we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.